Hey girls, it's Katie, and today we are doing a five minute outer thigh workout. This is one you've all been asking for, targeting that saddlebag area, because I know it's an area that bugs a lot of us. It's something that before I went through my weight loss transformation, I would see in photos and when I put on jeans and I hated it, but no more. Today we're gonna slim it down with four easy moves, so let's get started. We only have five minutes, so I'm gonna show you all the moves before we get started. So come onto your left side body, just propping your head up, Flex your feet, engage your core, and we're gonna start just with a simple leg lift. Next, you're gonna bend your knees and lift your right leg open. So all you're doing is lifting the right leg, closing it down, and opening it back up. So we're gonna call these clam openers. Next, you're gonna straighten your legs out, point the toes, lift the top leg, and I want you to draw a tiny little circle toward the back. Think about tracing or outlining one of my protein balls. Yeah, delicious, you can have that after you do the workout. And last, we're gonna combine some of those movements. So you're gonna lift the leg, you're gonna drop that knee, open it up, and then close the leg. So we open, drop and tap the knee, rotate open, and close. That's it. We're gonna spend two and a half minutes on each side, so find whatever side you wanna start on, and let's get going with those leg lifts. So 30 seconds here, just lifting up and down. And in your leg lifts, I really want you to flex the foot. And while we're doing this, you might as well get some ab work. So squeeze those obliques at the top. Up and down, yeah. Good. You might hear your hips popping a little bit. That's totally normal. Just make sure you stretch afterwards. All right, just here for about 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna go to those little clam openers. So getting ready to bend the knees in three, two, and one. So bend the knees. Just open and close. Lifting, good. So tap that knee and rotate open. Tap, open, tap. You can keep the feet together or just lift the foot off, it doesn't matter. You're gonna feel it on that outside, I promise. All right, halfway there. And then everything we're doing, always you guys, make sure you're keeping your core super tight. It's gonna help keep you balanced. After this, straightening those legs out for our little circles. In four, three, two, and extend it out, so little circles to the back. Keep it as tiny as you possibly can. Again, little protein bites. Tiny, tiny, tiny. You should really be feeling this all down that leg. Woo, good. We're just here for 30 seconds, and then we're combining those movements. The lift with the knee tap. 10 more, you got this. Ooh, it's burning. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Just a few seconds to do that. Okay, we got this. Two more seconds. Now let's lift, tap the knee, open and close. We're here for a minute. Tap, open and close. My hip is like pop, 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 and they're pretty stretched out. So again, you might not be quite as flexible. You might not be able to open and lift it quite as big yet. Just keep stretching before and after your workouts. You'll definitely get there. And exhale. Good, squeeze. This is such an awesome workout to do if you combine it, especially with our five minute inner thigh workout. Your legs are gonna be screaming with joy afterwards. And it's really good for like elongating those muscles too. All right, a few more seconds and we're gonna quickly jump right into that other side. So, let's finish 55 seconds in. So we have five seconds to move, which is in two more seconds and switch sides. Oh, hello. So let's start with those leg lifts. Here we go, up and down. Lift, as big as you can. Lowering with control. It's really easy to flail your body around. I tell my clients in bar this all the time. But we don't want flailing. I want slow and controlled motion, making sure those muscles are doing the work. Yes, up, down. A few more here, and then those clam openers. Tight cores, bend the knees. Good, just pop it open. Pop, yeah. Doop. This is one you kinda wanna do by yourself. Maybe with a girlfriend. It's always awkward when there's boys in my class. All right, keep lifting, got it. 10 more seconds. Oh, that outer thigh. You might notice too, one of your thighs or legs is tighter than the other. It might be a little harder to open it up. Totally normal. All right, straighten little circles. At this point, this leg's probably starting to burn. Oh. Yes, tiny. Can you make it smaller? A little bit smaller? 
Yeah, the more consciously you try to make it smaller, the more it burns. So, get it small. You got this. Keep going. 10 more seconds, then we're gonna do the combo, and that is it. And you can't even imagine how toned your legs are gonna be. Just five minutes. All right, ready? Up. Lift, lower, and tap. Lower, good. Flex that foot as you lift, good, and then you can point the toe to tap the knee. Exhale. You got this. Keep breathing. When it burns, that's a good sign. That's telling you those muscles are like, what the heck is happening? We haven't been worked here for a while. It means they're gonna grow, tighten, burn more fat in that area. Good. So push past it. Don't let that stop you. We will stretch it out after. 10 more seconds or so. A little bit more. You can do it. Good. Lift, tap, lift, and close. You got it. Tap, close. Woo! That burning so good. Last one. And let it go. Now tap it out. You earned it. Give a little tap, tap, tap. Normally, I say be nice to yourself, but this will feel so awesome. It's like foam rolling, but better. So getting a really good massage. All right, roll over to the other side. Give that side a little love. A little tap, tap, tap. <laughs> and let it go. So when we're using those outer legs, we're doing abduction, which is when you're pulling it away from the body and your hips can get really tight. So the best stretch after you do a workout like this, put yourself up against the wall, bring your left ankle up on your knee and lean back, flex into this foot and you can lift your chest closer. It's gonna open it up so much. So stay here for just a moment. And then when it feels nice and stretched, let's switch sides. I could hang out here all day. It feels so awesome. All right, so stretch as long as you need. Take a breath, grab some water. I know that those hips are feeling this, so just relax for a minute. Of course, these five minute workouts are perfect when you're short on time and you just wanna squeeze a little something in, but they're also really good to combine together. So if you're looking for a full 20 minute workout, Put this outer thigh one with an inner thigh, some booty and abs, and you're gonna be good to go. And to help you out, I already put a bunch of them together for you. So a little playlist will be right here. You can just do that right after this one and just hit everything. Everyone has five minutes in their day. So when you finish this workout, leave a comment below so I know you did it. And don't forget, good things come to those who sweat. So I'll see you guys next week for another awesome workout. Bye.